Hey everyone, Ronaldo Offerman here, and basically starting the Arceus Grand VJ 2.0 tutorial videos. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with my tutorial videos, make sure you check out the CompuShow ones. All you gotta do is go to Facebook and search CompuShow Video Manuals. So today we're going to talk about, again, Grand BJ. Just a quick introduction of what it is, what it does. It's not a full review yet. If you're interested in seeing a review, make sure you check it out at the Master School Dances channel on Facebook. Uh, but anyhow, I'm running right now the demo mode. You can go to the uh, RKS, or excuse me, the American DJ website, and you can download the demo there. Um, the demo gives you everything the full version would do except that it will launch demo halfway through. Now when you first launch Grand VJ 2.0, whether it's a demo or you bought it, you have two different options. You have the regular 2.0 version and then you have the XT. And the XT basically allows video mapping. Now video mapping, in case you've never seen it before, is you know when you see the real cool buildings that have the projector where it makes all the animations, that's video mapping. And some of you may think, I'm, I'm never going to do that. That's crazy. And that's probably true. But it could be something as simple as maybe you're running two video screens. And maybe you're always tired of aiming the projector so it hits that video screen perfectly. Well, with the video mapper extension, I have one head, you know, one output of each video card going to each video screen. And then I can literally, what I do is I just make the projector go slightly, bleed over slightly over the video screen. And then I just move the edges of the video screen and map it so it fits the video screen perfectly. It automatically keystones for me. But now I'm able to have something different on each video screen or I can have the same image or I can combine it into one big video screen. There's a lot of cool things you can do. So if you think video mapping isn't something you're going to do, think again. I promise you, you're going to play around with it. Even something as simple as laying down monogram graphics. Maybe you're doing a wedding venue and they have multiple columns. You can now paint those columns with color. New way to do uplighting, new way to do monograms. So let's go ahead and launch in and just see a little bit of what's, what everything is. So when you first uh, launch it, it's going to ask you, what would you like to do? Now, if you've never used anything before, you're just going to go into new. Now, you have your synth mode, you have your mixer mode, and you have a few different options. But let's go ahead and start with the synth mode and what it has. A synth mode is pretty basic, okay? So, of course, you have your files in case you need to load individual uh, videos or clips. You have your effects, and these are effects that actually kind of show you a little preview of what it can do. And these are not transitions, they're like effects that go to your typical video. Now this could be a live video, this could be a music video, video input. And remember that if you're on Mac, Grand VJ supports Siphon. Siphon basically means that it's going to send the VGA output over IP. I think it's the crudest and simplest way that I can explain it. So basically if I'm running, let's say, Virtual DJ, and instead of saying, you know, I don't want to run it out my VGA, I want to run out my Siphon plugin, so it runs into Siphon, and then Siphon will literally siphon it directly as an input here on one of my banks. Now you have multiple banks, but again, our first one here is our effects. Then we have our transitions, and transitions are pretty obvious. Tons of really cool transitions you can do. You have your sources. Now, I have my many cam source, which is basically my webcam. Uh, you have your live generators, and as you can see here, the live generators go to whatever beat or song you're doing. So if you have the boom, See, it kind of goes to it. So you can do some really cool things with that. See, watch. See, that's, so it's pretty cool there. And again, it's, it gives you some really fancy high-end visualizers. If you're on Apple, you can make your own visualizers by using Xcode. And that's something that I'm going to get into a little bit later on because there are some really cool things you can do with that. Um, and it's really easy to make your own visualizers. So again, you also have your text, and these are animations with pre-made text. And it's as simple as dropping something in on visual. And I can just write whatever I want. There it goes. So it does create some really cool effects that you can do with that. And then, of course, we have our regular visuals, and that is if you, uh, whenever you buy Arceus, uh, they have you know you have the head DVD with a bunch of visuals, or you can load your own visuals, and just a whole bunch of extra stuff that you can do on there. On the top, we have some easy, quick options. We can toggle between mixer and synth, and basically, mixer means that you have your you select it here. You can choose all your effects as you need to. 
uh, right now it's just going to say full screen display, but if you're mapping, you can map one screen of Surface 1, one screen of Surface 2, and then you can do combinations. So you can have Surface 3, which is a combination of Surface 1 and Surface 2. And we'll cover that later on when we do the mapping stuff. But this allows you to select where you're going to have it. And you basically can also map it to any MIDI device or you can map it to a synth, a synthesizer, a keyboard. So if you have a keyboard, you can quickly map it on there as well. But now we're going to go into our mixer mode. And again, mixer mode, you can still map it to there if you want. But mixer is... It's a little bit, um, I don't want to say more complicated, but it gives you more options. And this is where you're really going to want somebody else to help you run with it just to keep things clean. Let me show you what I mean. Because if you're trying to run this by yourself, it will get kind of crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and load this one here. I'm going to load that one there. I'm going to assign this to A. I'm going to assign that to B. So now if I go to A, it gives me that. If I go to B, it gives me that. But then if I move here A, it's only going to give me the topmost one. Unless I move this one down, now I can combine both of them. So that's what mixer mode is. It gives you a heck of a lot more options. I would recommend this, for example, if you wanted a few, you know, to make your own custom MIDI options, you could use, for example, the MIDICon violation and then couple that with OSC uh, options, you know, the OSC program that is available for iOS. I believe it's available for Android as well. And then you can control multiple sources. You can even use your VMS4 if you wanted to. And again, more on that in just a bit. Uh, you can, again, quickly clear all layers. Pretty simple there. We have our blackout, which basically blacks out the image, uh, full screen. This allows, you know, how sensitive you want the input to be. There's an output, your MIDI OSC. Again, we can cover that later. RKS Connect, we'll cover that later. And just showing you how much GPU and CPU uh, power that we are currently hogging right now. We're going to hide the MIDI keyboard. You can show or hide the browser in case you want to keep it simple and don't let people drag and drop things. Just have your bank set the way you like it to. And you can also hide the cell matrix, which are your banks. So if you're going to leave it exactly like this, and again, you know, for simple shows or if you have somebody else running it and you don't want to screw things up, this is a great way of doing it. Let's go ahead and uh, show everything up again. And again, just extra options, copy cell parameters, etc. You can preview it here. And same thing with your sources. Now, your sources can be a USB webcam. It can be HDMI input. Uh, Siphon will also work as well. Manycam works. Uh, so again, you can do whatever you want in there, and you can even load your own video clips, whatever you want. So that's one of the great things about our case is it is a full-on MIDI system. I mean, excuse me, visual system that is MIDI compatible. Let's go ahead and launch the other one here. Again, you have a couple basic synth modes that are kind of mapped for you. Uh, you have, for example, a Grand VJ full mixer mode, which is essentially what you just saw there. It just kind of gives you a few extra templates that you can use so you don't have to worry about trying to start from scratch if you don't want to. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Again, these are already pre-mapped, so if you have any of the Akai mixers, the Numark Orbit, which I have my Orbit. I'm going to tell you just up front, I love the Numark Orbit. It is really, really cool, uh, especially because you can change the buttons however you want. You can program them uh, whatever color you want. The Korg Nanos are very popular, very easy MIDI device to get into, super cheap. Uh, the American Audio VMS2 and VMS4.1, the MIDICon, the has these have already been mapped to it. So again, if you use CompuShow and maybe there's an event where you don't have CompuShow and you're just running video, you can use your same MIDICon for that. So when you click on it, for example, the MIDICon, if you actually go into your MIDI options here, let me see here if I can edit MIDI mapping. There we go. By the way, edit MIDI mapping is super easy. But you can actually already see the triggers, which have already been mapped to the individual CompuShow and MIDICon. And just by right-clicking, you can actually select which MIDI mapper you want. And all you got to do is push the button on your MIDICon or your MIDI device. It'll already ma automatically map it for you. And if you're familiar to CompuShow, if you've ever seen my videos, you know I talk about max value and min value. You can also assign that as well. So you can have a fader control two different aspects of faders at different max and min values. If you're using any kind of uh, touch wheels or resolution type wheels, such as on a VMS 4.1, you can also set your sensitivity as well. So it's at the right level for you.
when we go to our preferences, again, very easy. Now, we're on instant mode. We are not on video mapper mode because you have to pay for the XT. So for now, we're going to talk about instant mode. You just select your full screen monitor, your resolution. Now, I'm not sure what Arceus feels or what they've said, but in my opinion, if you're using ATI, just don't. Don't stick with NVIDIA. NVIDIA gives you a much better option when it comes to that, uh, when it comes to force resolutions, different resolutions, switching back and forth. NVIDIA just seems to play better with most things out there anyways. A keystoning. Now, even if you're only, you know, uh, if you're running the instant mode and not in mapper, you even if, you know, you need to quickly keystone something on the spot, you can. Now, of course, this is difficult when you're running two screens, but if you're only doing one video screen, you make it bleed slightly over the video screen, and then you just move these so it fits perfectly within your video screen. And it'll automatically keystone it for you as well. Uh, if you are going to play audio clips, you know, if there's video clips or anything you need to play, again, this does do audio out as well. And you can do, you know, the, your regular output device. You can do whatever sound card you have hooked up. If you have, for example, the VMS 4.1 or the MXR 14 or the 19, you can also output through that USB as well. Or you can do AirPlay as well. Um, you do have the Arceus Connect again, we'll go over that much later on. You have your MIDI inputs, you have your OSC in case you are doing the Touch OSC app. Uh, you have your performance options, again we'll cover that later as well. And again, activation, now this is something very important. You just don't go in there and punch in a key and you're good to go because Arceus is tired of people torrenting their program. Can't say I blame them. So basically they give you a key, you activate it, and you have to take your computer, I think like every 90 days, and activate it. Now some of you may be like, no, as soon as I take my computer online, demons will get in there and eat my computer. Well, first of all, you're in a Mac. I don't care what you feel. You don't have to worry about it. The same computer that I use for DJing, the same computer that I use for playing games online, Facebook, whatever. It's never been an issue. If you are on Windows, you have to be a little bit more careful, but as long as you're not stupid, you're okay. Okay, you know, just don't click activate and then decide to go to certain questionable websites and you'll be fine. But if you really don't want to take your computer online, uh, Arceus will send you a file every 90 days that you just upload to your computer and it reactivates that license key. Okay, so if you're working on, let's say you're working on Arceus on this computer, right, like your laptop, and you want to load it to your main rig, you do have to go back and forth with activating and deactivating because you cannot save in demo mode. Uh, so that's one of the only drawbacks that I didn't care for. But again, I don't mind my main computer going online just to activate it. So I just go online, I activate this one with my main key that I have, and then I load it to my other computer, I test it, and then I activate it before I take it to an event. Whatever way works easiest for you, you know, go for it. Uh, so anyhow, so I mean that's it right now for Grand VJ. Just a quick tour. Again, we'll kind of go over a little bit more as far as how to prep it for an event, how to do the mappers and all that. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them on the videos. And just like Compu Show video manuals, I'll start talking more and more about it. Uh, the next video will be on the mapper, and we'll do some very simple mappings. Kind of get you really excited about what you can do with it. And again, even if you say I don't need to do mapping, that's too complicated. I promise you, it, it, it's so easy, a caveman could do it. Uh, no copyright infringement, Geico. So again, Arnaldo Offerman with Arceus Grand VJ 2.0 Tutorials. Remember that if you are interested in Arceus, talk to your dealer. It is distributed by ADJ. If you want to go with its big brother, Media Master Express or Pro, you'd want to talk to Alation. They are distributing that. They distribute Media Master Express, and they uh, distribute Media Master Pro through the amazing Zeus system. More on that later on. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.